Ah, eh, sì, no. Sì, no. Sì, sì. Yes, yes. Our research group is a multidisciplinary group, a university project from the University of Trieste and Polytechnic of Milano. This is the University of Milano. It uh, is to study architecture, geometry, and shape of the structure in the Bosnian Valley, the pyramids. And uh, at the same time, the, our research focused on pyramids phenomenon, working continuously with the foundation, Bosnia Pyramid of the Sun. We are working together for further discussion and dissemination of findings about the so-called Visigo civilization. Visigo civilization is uh, the world uh, umbrella, like an umbrella. Take uh, all people who uh, lived uh, some some uh, thousand, thousands of, of, of years uh, here in this valley. The next, please. Uh, this is our logo, the logo of the foundation. We have the, the, the this is the uh, these are these are the um, people who work in this project, in this project with the, the SD research group. The next is, yes, we are working together, Samuel uh, Zmanagis and the foundation, to, uh, for, for the best results. Next. Um, like I told, uh, it's a multidisciplinary research team, SD research group, from Italian University, with an archaeologist, the leading archaeologist, of the uh, uh, foundation, Grand of the Sun, Saratoci, the anthropologist, I, the architect, the uh, professor Lucia Casvez Lucas, you uh, heard uh, her uh, last, uh, last day, the geologist, Dr. Lessa Croce, that is not here in this moment, and other technical and external partners, for example, Sun Engineer. Uh, Heike Sarlainen, who uh, is the best sound engineer of the Europe. <laughs> and other photographers, for example, Heike uh, and other. Next, please. And we want to uh, disseminate our results in the world. Um, the research community <coughs> transfer. Okay, the next. Okay. We began to study megalithic structure in the Valley of Isoko from November 2010 by different perspective, from the from the perspective by the perspective by the archaeologist, by the uh, anthropologist, by the perspective, the point of view of architect, of geologist. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. In the case of Rasmus Tamil, the Chinese removed the head that feeded them. We realized that this solution could be conserved by the builders or by those after them to protect and hide better something, something placed below the current floor or inside the walls. How do we This is a photo by Saracochi in December of 2010. When uh, we uh, went uh, into the new section of the tunnel, we found out that this, <laughs> uh, this scratch on the wall probably was by a man who closed inside the tunnels and alive. And it, uh, and, uh, it hit uh, us uh, so much that we uh, put, uh, we, we insert uh, his scratch in uh, our book. For not forgetting this. The next piece. Due to research, for example, covered for centuries, the proper study is necessary to limit the excavation area and the possibility of damaging the structure. Next, please. This is another photo by Richard 
point of the uh, section with the, the, with the structure below the soil, below the floor. Excuse me, excuse me for my broken English, uh, bad English. Um, I study English for 40 years, but I don't speak it very well. In these tunnels, many artifacts were found. Many of these had a shape, shape similar to a pyramid or triangle. Similar to a pyramid or a triangle. This is very important for the process. In April, they found a stone with a triangle on the side and two triangles on the other side with mosaic vertex. This is the, the more important discoverer uh, among the um, artifacts found in, in the tunnels. What we have had to find a structure with a triangular or diamond appearance? This is the question. Next, please. This is the artifact, uh, 11, uh, 15 uh, uh, centimeters, with the shape of triangle, or the shape of a pyramid with a, a base like a triangle and three sides. Next. And this is the artifacts with the triangle on the side. You see the angle. The it's not a, 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 a double triangle. Eh? This, this is a unique triangle. This is an angle with this inside of the triangle. The next. And this is the other side with two triangles with opposite vertex. Next. For this study, we started to study the whole system of tunnels, looking to find out the possible abnormality in the levels and levels in shape of the galleries. From the architectural point of view, by Professor Lucia Casovitz Lucas. But also, we have begun to look for the presence of something, something <coughs> under the floor or into the walls of, walls of the towers. This is the new map. The new map by uh, Professor Krasovitz Lucas with uh, the uh, position of the uh, structure found below the floor. You see, this is the uh, distribution of these tunnels. Okay, the next. Uh, no, please, uh, uh, return. This is uh, the side tunnel, the entrance of side tunnel, uh, filled up to the uh, filled, filled, filled by, uh, by soil. And uh, uh, the yellow is for the um, walls, uh, dark wall, dark walls. Next, please. We decided to use a GPR, ground GPR, to investigate under the floor into the walls. So in this way, we have identified an anomality about 90 meters from the entrance who may be more easily brought to light by the archaeologist. The next please. This is the uh, 3D image with the, the uh, zone where is the structure of the floor. This is the walls upstream and downstream to uh, uh, defend the structure from the water, for the water. Next, please. Uh, GPR is a ground penetrating radar. Ground penetrating radar is an advanced, non invasive subsurface imaging technique that typically uses short pulses of electromagnetic energy to see on the ground. VHF, UHF. Um, uh, waves. GPR can penetrate the uh, soil, concrete, tarmac, growth, wood, ice, and even water. But what is the problem? Uh, okay. It's a uh, weak, but uh, um, with the wet soil, the radiation don't go down. The next piece. 
This is an American model, which is uh, very, uh, very, known, very known. Next. The movement. The image appears on the, on the, on the computer. The image came from the wells of the ground. That is here, the there. Next, please. It's very portable, very portable for the equipment. Next. So, this uh, equipment can enter in uh, every dance of the ground. GPL is very good, the military the GPL for archaeology is very good. And determining the shape, size, extent, and deep of the buried object. It can be used to find pipes, foundation, or stretches, geological layers. It works best in the right ground, not the wet ground, not the wet ground. But it also works well in wet, saturated material. No, it's not true, it's not true. <laughs> it does not work very well in salinity condition, that's the best place. It's not wet, uh, no. In the wet, uh, the wet uh, soil, uh, the, um, the irradiation is no, it's absorbed, absorbed from, from, by water, by water. Government uh, technical assistance, which I think is needed for archaeology and cultural heritage research, can provide detection of the ground structure, mapping and necessary archaeology site, detailed surveying during archaeological excavation, Chemical identification, and so on. The next is analysis of the world. This is another big, uh, big by three radar, three D radar. That's the image. Next, please. <coughs> how how we use the, the GPL? And what what the GPL? We use the GPL model detector duo EDS from Italy from a factory of Pisa with new dual wide band. This, uh, this um, GPR has two antenna, <coughs> two antenna with uh, the high frequency and low frequency. The high frequency make a, a um, good um, resolution, but uh, uh, don't go deep, don't go deep. And the high, high, uh, the low, uh, low, uh, um, the low frequency is better to go deeper. But uh, this model can reach six meter deep in the survey, even difficult wet condition, able to obtain a resolution regarding images. This is the model, the Italian model, from the Yes. Next, please. High frequency, low frequency. High frequency, 1700 megahertz. That's for the, um, for the best resolution. Two antenna to admit, but one antenna to receive. The next piece. The new detector duo provides easy to interpret real time results of the pressure of targets and locates the exact position of the object. This is important. No need to replace the antenna and cover the same same twice. Through a single scan, through a single scan, you can detect shallow and deep targets same time and cost. It's not necessary to 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 move a lot of time the 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 GPM, GPM. Okay, the next. This is an example. The antenna of GPR see the object. Uh, when you move the antenna, uh, this point are designed on the computer to obtain this ellipsis. And this is the object. Now here is the object, but uh, you can see and then it is over it. Next, please. An example. Two objects. You see the ellipsis here, another ellipsis here, and this is a mirror ellipsis. The object is here. So you can take it in this way. 
Next, please. And a little bit in the soil. The, you can see the difference between the normal soil and the soil who filled the, uh, the meat. The, 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 the big difference. Next. This is a famous uh, image, you can find it uh, also on the internet, of the cemetery in Alabama. Uh, this is uh, the buried uh, human burial on yellow arrows, and red arrows indicate roots, roots from the trees. Next, please. Limits of Gerada. The deep branch of GDR is limited by the electrical conductivity of the ground. This is very important. And uh, so, uh, as the conductivity increases, the penetration decreases. Gun penetrating radar antennas are generally in contact with the ground for the strongest signal swing. But if the floor is irregular, the signal is not good. Next, please. And finally, what we found in Radar study. GPL localized the very particular object with big dimension, two meters for one meter and a half, and four and a half meters deep. A big structure. The structure is 40 centimeters under the floor, about 90 meters from the entrance. The configuration is very original. Two diamonds placed one above the other. Every diamond has something inside. Has something inside. This is the design, designed uh, from a lot of uh, uh, scannerizations. You can see a diamond, another diamond, and something inside. You see, it's completely different uh, from previous images. It's, it's, it's an artificial structure. Sure, it's an artificial structure. The next is this is the schema. The schema with uh, something inside the diamonds, the two diamonds. The next. But my work is finished now. And the curative words begin. So, and now I give the speech to Sarah Conci, leading and theologist of the Foundation, who was speaking about the structure found on the floor of the Thank you very much. Thank you.